Hey, welcome back to my channel. My channel. Okay, so in this video, guys, I'm just going to be doing a chit chat. Get ready with me for brunch. Your girl is going to brunch on a Saturday. I never went to brunch on a Saturday. I usually go to brunch on Sundays, but today my friends decided that we, they want to go to brunch. So we are going to be going to brunch, and I just wanted to um, get ready with y'all while talking to y'all about 2020 and. Um, basically about my goals and my aspirations that I want to have for 2021 and the ways I want to deal with myself in 2021 and ways I want to deal with guys in 2021. I feel like in 2020 guys um basically moved my life a lot. Guys had a lot to do with my life and I'm and because of that I had so many downfalls and stuff like that so this is a more serious girl talk like this is a serious girl talk. We don't get into the funny girl talks okay. We don't get into the fake friends. I feel like that's my next video. My next chit chat get ready with me. We're gonna be talking about fake friends because i've i've been across a lot of them okay this one was about guys and if you guys like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and if you guys want more of these girl talks i don't know what i'm gonna call it on my channel if you guys like it we're gonna call it something different it's not gonna be called girl talks we're probably gonna call it like irene talks or like bad bitches talk <laughs> i don't know we're gonna figure it out um i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys enjoyed this video i enjoyed making it i enjoyed talking to you guys let's get straight into the video and let's go ahead and talk about the issues that probably 90 percent of y'all that are watching have faced dealing with guys and honestly this video was just me telling story times about like uh, guys that i've dealt with and why i'm taking a step back from guys but if you guys want me to show you if you guys want me to tell you guys red flags when dating a guys if you guys want a video on that oh don't worry i will have that video and not only will i have that video my friends will come in that video because we've all dealt with bullshit so we'll all come in that video we'll tell you what the red flags are and we'll actually dissect I want to teach you guys how to be a psychic like me. Like me, I be people bullshit before the guy even know he doing shit. I be people bullshit before. I've, I've had dreams of guys doing me dirty and I woke up and they did exactly what happened in the dream. I've had visions. Like, I, I bitch, I don't think I'm that so raven. Guys, <laughs> it's the future. I can see, you feel me? But um, <laughs> if you guys want more videos like this, if you guys like this video, let me know down below. Please comment, 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 comment. Your comments matter. Don't just watch the video and click off. Comment if you like the video. Comment if you want me to do more. Comment, comment, comment. And yeah, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let's get straight to it. So I'm going to be taking the elf. And um, throughout this video, y'all, I'm going to be talking so i'm gonna leave everything that i use down below in the description box so please be on the lookout for that before you ask oh where'd you get this from where'd you get that from just because I'm, I'm gonna be talking i'm gonna be rambling really you know don't have time to be saying oh i got this from here you know what i mean so let's get straight into this video because i have to be ready in like an hour but um i really wanted to come to you guys and talk about like what was going on with me last year and like basically the the struggles that i endured last year it's my struggles like i wanted to have a little girl talk i've never had a girl talk before on my channel because like i don't know i don't be i don't be wanting to be vulnerable or whatnot but um i really wanted to have a girl talk and stuff like that he my channel is centered around me trying on clothes and like for the, for the synopsis of it i make this channel fun like I, I want you guys to click the video and i want you guys to get a laugh out of the video like if you guys have not if you guys have not seen my other videos whenever you watch my videos you know you're laughing at the end of it or like something within the video is funny even if the video is not meant to be funny i always make make sure you guys have a laugh out of it i'm gonna just be real and just let you guys know that last year i was laughing and like making jokes and everything but a bitch was depressed okay i was so depressed last year it wasn't even funny what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna speed up these eyebrows and i'm gonna come back and talk to you because i don't know for some reason i i can't do my eyebrows and talk
okay guys i'm back so let me just go ahead and start talking about like my whole recap of last year or whatnot and like the stuff i went through and like the struggles i faced last year i'm just gonna be like talking while doing my makeup and let me know guys if you guys like these type of videos let me know i will do more of them for all my comedians that come to my channel so they can laugh. I don't know if you're going to laugh today. I mean, I'm going to bust a few jokes, you feel me, so y'all can stay, you know, so y'all can still be laughing. But I don't know if you're going to laugh today because I am like, I don't know, like last year just really like, last year dealt with all of us well, well. So let me continue. At the beginning of last year, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I was the happiest that I've ever been in my life. I'm going to just be real. Oh my god, these eyebrows look bad. Oh my god, these eyebrows look terrible. Y'all, I don't I, I haven't gotten my eyebrows done in like almost a year. At the beginning of last year, I was probably the happiest that I've really ever been in my life, which was so funny because I mean I don't know why I was that happy, but I was honestly very, very, very happy. Then COVID hit. So before let, let me talk about life before COVID. So life before COVID was um very fun I, I was i was having fun i was doing good in school i was doing good in my classes mind you i was taking some hard classes but i was breezing through like i was doing good in majority of my classes i was doing good in you know what i mean then um covid hit and honestly let me tell y'all okay so we went on spring break me being me i didn't live on campus i lived off of campus so i was like hey i'm going back to school regardless you feel me like I wanted to be Miss Grownie. I did not want to be at home. Trust me. I don't mind being at home because I stayed at home for the whole summer this year, last year. But around that time, I just, I didn't want to be at home. Like, I was just like, nah, man. Like, I don't care if COVID is here. I'm going to stay at school. I wanted to be grown and stuff like that. So let's just talk about me trying to be grown and like the complications that happened with me trying to be grown. I was talking to this one guy and we're not going to say his name. But um, I was talking to this one guy. Honestly, first of all, it's like, I don't want to say that they could pursue me because I'm not going to lie, me and him kind of like found each other at the same time. Like I really, I can't even like describe what I'm trying to say, but we found each other at the same time. I found him, I used to go to the gym a lot. So around this time, like before COVID, my main focus was me losing weight. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, I lost. How much weight did I lose before COVID? I think I lost like 30 something pounds before COVID and then COVID hit. So at this time, when I used to go to the gym, I used to see this one guy and he was very cute. You know, like he was very cute um, in my eyes. He was cute. I mean, my friends thought he was cute too, but you know, when a nigga do you dirty, like you don't even find him cute no more. You be like, I don't even want to call this nigga cute, but I'm, I'm not going to hold him because we're not cool, you know? I know when a nigga is feeling me. I know when a nigga likes me. Like, and I don't know. I just know. Like, it, it never fails. Like, I know when a nigga likes me. And, bitch, I'm an enticing bitch. Like, uh, <laughs> bitch, let me stop. But I'm an enticing hoe, you feel me? So, I know when a nigga is feeling your girl. Um, It don't take much for me to be like, okay, a nigga likes me, you know? So, at this point, like, every time he worked at the wreck, and every time like I would go to the wreck, I would see him and he would see me and we would lock eyes and he would say, hey, how are y'all? Cause I always went with my my other friend. He would be like, hey, how are y'all? And I'm like, I'm doing good or whatnot. Like, how you doing? <laughs> and stuff like that, right? Found his Instagram, which was so funny. Cause like, I don't follow no one from PV on Instagram unless I'm friends with you. I don't like follow people from PV on Instagram like that unless I'm friends with them. On Twitter, that's a different story. I feel like on Twitter, I do follow people from PV that I don't know. I don't even know. I don't even remember how I found this nigga's Instagram, but I found his Instagram, which was so weird. So when I found his Instagram, I was like going through his pictures and stuff. And I was just like, oh, this nigga, like he's cute. Like his smile was so pretty. He had pretty white teeth. Like he was very cute. Like he, he was very, very handsome. While I was going through his photos, I accidentally liked the photo. So I liked the photo or whatnot. I'm guessing because I liked the photo, he found me and um, basically like he followed me. Cause when I liked the photo, I didn't follow him. I wasn't like, oops, I liked it. Let me go ahead and follow him. No, I didn't follow him. I didn't want him to think I was a creep, you know? But he ended up following me and liking all my photos. So I was just like, oh, okay, plot twist. 
So every time we would go to the gym, he will always say hi to me or whatnot. And I'll say hi to him. And so one day he DM me and I don't remember what he said, but we exchanged numbers and we started texting. We would text on Instagram. We would text on um, messages. We, walk, we, were, we were not always. I'm not going to say we were always texting, but we were texting. You know, you know, niggas like stupidity. So, you know, I'm about to start talking about the stupidity he did. As me and him were talking, I began to see red flags. Y'all ever seen that tweet on Twitter where it says, sometimes red flags turn to six flags? Bitch, that's how I felt the whole year. Like, when Megan said that she wanted to be a hot girl, bitch, I said I wanted to be one for 2020. When I tell you guys I was a hot girl, we're gonna put the T in front of it and y'all know what that means. I was onto niggas like crazy. Like, I was just like, I felt like I was in high school again. Because I haven't been a hot girl since high school. And I feel like I was back in high school again. Like, just jumping from nigga to nigga to nigga. Like, I said, I'm a hot girl. I do hot shit. And, bitch, it, everything came crashing down. I'm going to just be real with you. But let me get back to the story with this nigga. He started doing stuff like we were supposed to be linking. And um, instead for us to link, he will, like, basically... Um, we were supposed to be doing something for Valentine's Day. I think I was supposed to be um, seeing him for Valentine's Day. And when Valentine's Day came, he was nowhere to be found. Which was like, I wasn't mad because I didn't know the nigga like that at that time. But I just seen that like, you know how you just start peeping. Like, okay, like he the type of nigga that he don't stick to what he say basically. That's just what I started peeping. I was just like, okay, like he's the type of guy who does not stick to what he says or whatnot. Yeah, like I didn't get mad at him or nothing. Like I literally, I literally just, I left him alone until he texted me again. He texted me again like four days later. Nobody would never have to come to me as a woman. Nobody would, none of my friends would have to say, have you seen what such as us did? I always end up catching the nigga. Before, even, even before like the nigga do something in my heart, I'd be like, the nigga's about to do something. I found his Twitter, which I don't even know how I found his Twitter because his Twitter was not the same as his Instagram, but I found his Twitter one day and I seen him tweeting something about like last night and he put the happy face. Like, you know when a nigga tweet like last night and he put like a sexual happy face? Oh! Huh. <laughs> and last night was valentine's day so you're there tweeting last night and basically like you were having sex last night for valentine's day cool that was another red flag i seen that he tweeted that and i was just like hmm so this is the reason why you didn't link with me basically this is this is the reason because last night you already had someone else to link with like why would you need to link with me you know what i mean but at this point that's what i'm just collecting from the whole situation i'm just collecting that okay i was not supposed to put that green there fun last night um having sex with someone else instead of like you know hanging out with me like you plan mind you i'm not one of those girls let me tell you something I'm not one of those girls who like start talking to a nigga and I start planning future and cause look, this is how I think, which is like very, it's, it's negative. Like as soon as I start talking to a guy, I always think like the guy's going to do some dumb shit later on. You know what I mean? Like I always think that I always be like, yeah, the guy, he's going to do some dumb shit later on. Like we're going to get into it. Like he's just going to do some dumb shit later on. You know what I mean? I don't be like talking to niggas with the intentions of them doing good. I, I just don't because niggas love to show their ass. Like, especially when y'all like when you think that um you're you're in good grace with a nigga, a nigga will show you show up. Let me tell you my favorite line. Nigga will show up and show out. It's time when it's time for him to perform. Like I fucking told him to perform. These motherfuckers be performing for free. How that? Okay, I'm rambling. Let me get back to the story. That was the first strike. So at this point, I told my friends what happened. And they're like, well, I just told one of my friends what happened. And she was like, bro, leave that nigga alone. Like, she didn't like him from the beginning. I did not know why, but she just didn't like him. She didn't like his vibe. So I left him alone. I was like, you know what? Like you like you're playing you're playing games with me like i i know we both was feeling each other but let's be real you pursued me i didn't really pursue you like that like i thought you were cute but you talked to me first you follow me and everything so like don't so act so act like it basically just act like it when he texted me he and mind you he he didn't text me for valentine he didn't say happy valentine's day he didn't text me nothing when he texted me he texted me a week later this time i'm looking like why is this nigga texting me a week later like he didn't do the shit that he just did but i was just like fuck it like let me see what he has to say so he said hey when he said hey i said i was gonna leave him alone so i ignored him so when i seen him at the gym because he worked at the gym every single day y'all and i went to the gym every single day 
when he when I seen him at the gym, he came up to me and he was like, he gave me a hug, and I was just like, <sighs> so I gave him the hug, and then he was like, don't do that shit. I was just like. <laughs> Who the fuck are you talking to? Talking about don't do that shit. I was looking, I said, do what? Like, let me tell y'all something. I'm not one of these bitches that you could just talk anyhow to. That's just not me. I'm not one of those girls that like, you could just do whatever, do I owe, do, do what you want to do and get away with it. That's just not the type of girl I am. Talk anyhow to me, I'm going to talk anyhow back. That's just the type of bitch I am. That's the type of person I am. So when he said, stop doing that shit, I was like, stop doing what? And he ignored me and he walked away. My friend was right next to me and she was like, I told you to leave that nigga alone. I was just looking at her like, bro, not messing with the nigga. The nigga texted me. I ignored him. So I'm guessing he meant like, stop doing that shit because I ignored him. Cool. And so I'm back and I'm about to move on to face. Basically, the guy basically did what he did with the Valentine's thing. And then so when I ignored him, he got mad. So my dumb ass, I should have known, like, I should have been like, you know, Irene, leave him alone. Like, you know, this nigga, he's entitled. How can you get mad at somebody for ignoring you, but you were supposed to hang out with someone? You set the date. It's not like I set the date. You set the date to hang out with me. And then you dodge. Did not say nothing. Didn't say, hey, can't do it. I would have felt better had he been like, hey, I can't do it. You know, I got plans or something, but just nothing. And then when I ignore you, you tell me, don't do that shit. My dumb ass, he kept messaging me. He just kept messaging me. So my dumb ass, I went back to talk to him again. And long story short, when COVID hit, I wanted to be grown and I wanted to go to PV because he was going to be at PV. Oh, this nigga did me so dirty. He basically had me so fucked up. He lied about like um, being in an apartment. Like this nigga lied about like, I don't know if he lived in the, I don't think he lived in the apartment, but he lied about living there before. Me and my friend, we were coming from the grocery store. You know the funny thing? I seen, have I ever seen this nigga car? No. No, have I? No. I never seen this nigga car before. Like, when I say order a car that he was driving, I've never seen his car before because we always seen each other at the gym. So I've never seen the car that he was driving. Me and my friend, we went to HEB. And if you guys don't know what HEB is, it's like a grocery store in Texas. So we went to HEB and... When I'm coming from H-E-B, that, that's why I said God be talking to me. I was at the stoplight and God told me, because this is God, because i never seen this boy's car before. God said, that's his car. And I was just like, no, that's not his car. Like, you know how Kevin Hart be like, no. Like, I was just like, hey, that is not his car. No, 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 no. That's not his car. And God said, girl don't 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 argue with me that's his car at this time my friend she's in the car she's sleeping I'm tired and like i'm up because you know i'm driving so i'm just like oh my god like let me not have to like beat a nigga ass so i'm just like okay if god said that this is his car let me see where this car is going this time he had been ignoring me everything and when i called him and i asked him like you know what like what's your reason for ignoring me this motherfucker had the nerve to say COVID is getting bad. This time we were a month into COVID. What are you talking about? COVID is getting bad. Like, why are you making that as your excuse? Like, are you dumb? You mean COVID is getting bad? Like, I don't, I don't get it. So I was like, what are you talking about? COVID is getting bad. Like, when he made the comment, I was just so confused. I'm like, what do you mean COVID is getting bad? And he was like, as I said. And he was rude like that. Like, he he was really rude like that. Like, and he was a Virgo. And I've come to find out. I don't get along with Virgo men. I'm a Virgo, okay? I'm a Virgo. But we do not act the way Virgo men act. Virgo men, they're weird, bro. Like, what do you mean, as I said? Like, what are you talking about, as I said? Why are you talking anyhow? Just be honest with me and just say, I'm not feeling you like that. Like, why are you leading me on? All right, y'all. So it's a lot of shit that I forgot to add inside the story. So I'm just going to go ahead and add it. Also, at, um, just to clear things up, because I know some people are going to be like, well, maybe he just wanted to protect himself from, you know, catching COVID. No, he did not. Um, he was a drug dealer. And he sold drugs and he was all real, he was always making moves. Like every time I saw him, he was always selling drugs. He was always with people. He was never home. He was never at his house. So that's first things first. Secondly, when he came to my apartment, I was being very nice after he made that whole comment of, COVID is getting out of hand. He stopped talking to me. He stopped texting me. He stopped calling me. And um, then he was trying to control me. And he was trying to ask me, oh, where have you been? 
And um, I told him, I said, oh, I'm at my friend's house. And he had the fucking nerve to say, take a picture. For starters, I'm not your motherfucking monkey. I'm not your motherfucking dog. I don't know who you think I am. But you're not going to control me talking about take a picture. Like, what the fuck do you mean take a picture? So he basically, he was trying to say that, like, I wasn't where I said I was. Like, he was trying to basically call me a hoe and say that I was at, like, another nigga's house. And I don't have to lie about that. If I'm at another, if I'm at another nigga's house, I'm not going to message you back. It's just that simple. You know what I mean? So after he did all that bullshit, he ended up leaving one of his sweaters at my house the the night that he came over to my house before he started doing the whole ignoring thing. So I told him, I took, I texted him the next day before he started doing th that whole ignoring thing. I said, do you want to pick up your sweater from my house? He said, yeah, girl, I'm going to come. He said, I'm going to come to your house. So it don't even matter that like I left it. He said, I'm going to be at your house all the time. So in my head, I'm like, yeah, that is true. Like, you know, me and him, we, we was cool around that. So I was like that, like, you know, it's whatever. Like he could come pick up the sweater, whatever. But around this time, it had been like a week that had passed by and me and him, we just wasn't being cool like that no more. Like, he hadn't been to my house. He wasn't texting me. He wasn't calling me. So, at this point, I'm like, bro, um, do you want to come and get your sweater? Yes or no? He was ignoring me. So, I threw his sweater away. I threw his sweater away. I threw it in the trash can. Then, he texted me two days later and was like, I want my sweater. So, now, at this point, I'm like, fuck. I threw this nigga's sweater away in the trash can where I had food and everything all in the trash can. Like, there was food all over the nigga's sweater. And I was like, damn, like, I threw this nigga's sweater away. Like, you know, I don't even know what to do now. You know what I mean? And I didn't want, I didn't want to, I didn't, like, me and him, we didn't get into, like, a big-ass argument at that time for me to, like, be like, fuck you, nigga, you ain't getting your sweater. So I was like, damn, I fucked up. So me being the polite bitch I am, I decided to go wash the fucking sweater. I took the sweater out of the trash can and I decided to wash it. And I was just like, damn, I just really hope like I'm not washing the sweater and he and he don't ask like, why are you like washing my sweater? Like my sweater was never dirty, you know? So I washed the sweater and he ended up coming to pick up the sweater. And tell me why, when the nigga came to pick up the sweater, this bitch ass nigga, and please excuse my French if you guys are hearing this, this bitch ass nigga snatched the sweater out of my hand. Like, when I say snatch, like, he didn't even say thank you. I opened the door, he snatched the sweater out of my hand, he rolled his eyes, and he walked off. Guys, when I tell you I was filming, I was filming. I didn't even say anything. Like, I was shocked at how much of a bitch he was acting. I just slammed the door. I didn't even say anything. I literally, I slammed the door so hard. Like, I just slammed the door, and he just kept walking. He did not care at all. So, that was another strike before this whole apartment situation. So we're about to go right back into the story. I'm sorry, guys. I left a lot of shit out. I was doing my makeup and I don't know. I just forgot to tell a lot of parts of the story. But yeah, I felt like you guys needed to hear that. So you guys already know that this motherfucker was a fuck boy. Like he was a fuck boy. So I follow the cars because God said follow it. Well, I don't know if God said follow it, but the direction the car was going in was our direction to our apartment. This is where I said this motherfucker has me fucked up. Then in order to get into our gate, you needed your fingerprint, meaning that you had to live there. So like people would like, usually people who don't live there, they will wait for the car to, um, they will wait for the car to, for cars to come so they can get into the gate. Cause you cannot get into the gate unless you have your finger. <laughs> if you don't live there, you can't get into the gate. The car that I was following was tinted. So I couldn't see if it was him or not. I just see like, and the car is literally exactly my car. Like the car was my car, but just black. So I was just like, okay, it's easy. It was easy for me to keep up with the car because the car was driving fast. It's as if like he got caught and he started speeding. My windows are not tinted. Like, you know how people be like, oh, I feel like I'm living in a fishbowl when I get in people's windows that are not tinted. Oh, you're, you are living in a fishbowl with my windows. My windows are not tinted at all. So... I, it's like he seen me and like he jetted because the speeding that he was doing was on another level like he was speeding like the I think the speed limit was like 50 and he was going like 100 but me I I, I, I wasn't going to be speeding with him I kept that 50 we met up at the same area person puts their hands in the thing so they can get into the gate so at this point i'm thinking to myself i'm like um okay then this is not him because you know he told me he don't live here and he told me he's never lived at these apartments so this can't be him but something in like it, 
I'm telling you, it's God. God's like, girl, that is him. Like, follow the car. So I followed the car, me and me. I followed the car into the gate and past like my house. Like I, the car passed up my house and everything. And I kept following the car. At this time, my friend, she's sleeping. So she don't even know what's going on. So I did tell my friend when we get to like, when we get by the apartment, because now we're not, we already have passed up my apartment like we've already passed up my apartment we're like on the other side of the complex at this side I, I wake up my friend and i said i think that's blank but i was just like i think that's blank and she was like why and i was like i don't know something's telling me that's him and she like are you sure are you sure that's him i'm sorry y'all like i have this in my in in y'all's face i'm so sorry i'm gonna try to put it down so you guys can't see it but she's like are you sure that's him are you sure that's him and i'm like girl that's him like I'm not dumb, like, well, not about being dumb, but God is telling me it's him. The person waits in their car. I told you guys, I, my windows are not tinted. So at this time, I think he saw me and I think he was like, well, let me wait in my car because his windows were tinted. Like the type of tint that this boy had, I'm not going to lie to you guys. He should have got, I, I'm pretty sure he should, he should be pulled over because the tint, the tint was excessive. He gets out the car after like a minute of waiting. I guess he gave up. I guess he was just like, you know whatever if she catches me whatever he gets out the car he looks at me he turns around and then he walks up the stairs he walks up the stairs i could tell like he i could tell that he knows he got caught like he knows he got caught because he walks up the stairs he walks up the first set of stairs then you know there's like an area where you could just stand or you can go up the third set of stairs he just stands and he stares at me so I'm just like, I'm looking at him. He's looking at me. My friend is looking at him. Like we're just having a staring contest. And he waves. What the fuck are you waving at? You saw me before you came up the stairs. Why are you waving? Now you're stalling out. Now you're stalling out. That's what you're doing now. You're trying to stall out because you don't want me to know where you're going. Because obviously you lied. Obviously you've lived here or you were supposed to live here or something. Because you put your finger into the gate code. And now you don't want to go to your destination because you're afraid I'm going to pull up on your ass. So at this point, I'm just looking at him. So when he waved at me, I, I, I literally shook my head. I'm like, I don't play those games with these niggas. So he said, Psh. he did like that and he walked off. He didn't go up the third set of stairs. He just walked off. But the type of walk off that he did was like, he was unsure about where he was going. At this point, I'm texting him and I'm just, I'm saying, what are you doing here? I was like, what are you doing here in these apartments? Like, what are you doing here? You said you don't live here. I saw what you did. Like, you think you're slick. And I basically told him, it's this thing that we say, like, um, me and my friends, whenever somebody get caught doing something, we always be like, you got caught. You got caught. Like, we always say, you got caught. So, you know, me, I'm using the lingo on him. I'm like, you got caught. You know what this nigga said? This nigga put laughing emojis that said caught like I'm a child or something. The fuck? Oh my god. 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 He has me fucked up. Oh my god. He has me fucked up. Oh my god. But at this point, I'm just like, oh my god. Like, this nigga has me fucked up. Like, so at this point, I'm angry as hell. I don't know why, like, I was thinking that, but I was just like, I'm gonna hurt this nigga. So, me and him were going back and forth through text messages. And I was just like, you're a hoe. Like, you lied about your whereabouts. And he was just telling me, like, he basically, his whole hypnosis was just him saying that he's a grown-ass man and I don't tell him what to do. That's basically just was his hypnosis. Like, I'm a grown-ass man. You do not tell me what to do. I can do whatever I want to do. We are not dating. You know, niggas like saying that shit when they get caught, but they want to do everything with you like you're dating. Then he got mad because I told him, I, I told him, I said, you're blocked. I told him straight up. I was like, you're blocked. You're blocked in my book. You're blocked. But even though I said I, that he was blocked, I was still arguing with him. So the bitch, I don't want to call him a bitch because we're, we're, I'm not going to say we're cool, but we're cordial now. The boy ends up saying, aren't you supposed to be blocking me? Let me do you the favor. And he blocks me. So at this point, I'm at the, I'm in the front of my house and my friend's just like, what do you want to do? Like, my friend is mad. Now my friend is like angry. He's like, what do you want to do? Like, do you want to pull up on him? And I was like, but where does he? I was just like, no. And I'm crying. I'm crying like a baby, bro. And my friend, she's getting mad. She's like, okay, you're crying. Now he has both of us fucked up because, you know, my friend's there, ride or dies. My friend is mad. She's like, if you're crying now, like, 
now we have an issue you know what i mean because you shouldn't be crying over this shit so she tells me go change your clothes we're gonna go pull up on him and i'm just like no and she told me straight up she said i'm pulling up on a nigga regardless like she said i'm pulling up on a nigga whether you decide that you're gonna go or not i'm gonna pull up on this nigga because this nigga just pissed me off and I, she said i'm gonna confront him at this point i don't want to pull up since my friend said that she was gonna pull up i was just like man fuck it let me just let me just pull up at this time as soon as my friend said i'm pulling up on a nigga regardless she got in her car because she lived in the same apartments as me she lived literally across the street she got in her car and she drove down the complex to his area so at this time i drove down there with her and i was just like okay let me go get changed and we can come back so we drove back to my place i changed because the clothes that i was wearing before was very tight and you know we had to fight a bitch which i don't i'm not gonna be fighting no bitch over no nigga but at the same time y'all know how girls get real disrespectful like you know we supposed to be, when it's really supposed to be the nigga that we supposed to be like arguing with you know girls like they they sometimes turn it on you i changed my clothes just in case like you know we had to you know go federal we pulled up to the house now we're on the second floor and covid has came so it's it's not a lot of people living in these apartments anymore a lot of people went home uh, a lot of people didn't come back you know what i mean because you know, you, you have to understand the people who were out of state, who went home for spring break, why would they fly back down here? But we were only an hour away from the school, so we came back. A lot of houses were empty. Me and my friend were literally knocking on everybody's door on the second floor and nobody was answering. My friend told me, my friend said, this nigga lives on the third floor. And I was like, you think? I'm crying still. I'm still crying. And she's like, yes, this nigga definitely lives on the third floor. Like, she was like, you should have known that he lived on the third floor from the way he was stalling you out when he first saw you. She was like, he's not slick. So I'm like, okay, well, let's go to the third floor. So we go to the third floor and we start knocking on everybody's uh, doors on the third floor. And one of these doors open. The way the girl opened the door, it's like she didn't want nobody to see what was going on inside the house like she opened the door you know how you open the door like slantly like yeah so she opened the door like that i'm just very quiet i'm i'm still crying and stuff like that and she's like um she's just like yes what's up my friend's like do you know anybody named such and such and if they do do they like are they are they with you right now it's like she i don't know if he went and told her like a crazy bitch is about to come because it's like she knew it's like she knew she knew she knew it's like she was ready for it it's like she knew like she knew she knew we were coming because when um when my friend asked if she knew if if uh which call it if she knew anyone by that name it's like she rolled her eyes she said no i was like do you there's somebody in the background snickering it's this nigga you you feel me like this nigga is back here snickering like he's watching a lifetime movie or he's watching netflix about this shit is funny my friend's like, bring the nigga out. Bring him out. We want to talk to him. Bring him out. So he comes out. And I tell you guys, the arrogance was on another level. He comes out the house and he tells me, he's like, who are you? To his friend. To my friend. Mind you, he already knows my friend. Like, he seen my friend at the gym with me. Like, he knows who my friend is. But he was being rude. He told my friend, he was like, who are you? And my friend was like, who is this? At this point, he looks at me and he starts laughing. I really remember the whole synopsis of the story he tried to hold me like he went off on me he was calling me a hoe um he just went off on me like he was like i don't care like that da this this and that 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 it is and he said some other foul shit that i don't even know if i want to say like what he said but he was just trying to be like really you know really rude so at this point bitch i'm not crying no more bitch i'm mad now now i'm not crying so i told him straight up i said nigga I told him straight up, I said, play with me if you want to, nigga. Play with me if you want to. At this time, he's about to graduate. I said, nigga, you're not going to graduate if you fucking play with me. You're not going to fucking graduate if you fucking play with me, nigga. Don't play with me. Got into the big argument. My friend's arguing with him. He gets mad. He's like, he starts yelling, talking about some. I'm not talking to nobody unless it's Irene. If you're not Irene, like, stop talking. Like, basically telling my friends to stop talking. My friend's like, no, I'm not going to stop talking because you did some weird shit. And now I'm in it. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to stop talking. So him and my friends start arguing. And the girl, she's just sitting in the background. And she's just looking at us. Then he goes and then um because my friend wouldn't let us talk to each other one on one without chiming in, he decides that he doesn't want to talk to any of us. And he says, I'm not talking to none of y'all. Y'all can get the fuck out of here. Basically what he said, and then he went inside the house. When he went inside the house, the girl says he claims that the that girl was his best friend. And I'm gonna get into that later. Well, bitch like candy, that was now and this is later. So I never got to go ahead and actually tell 
get into like the story on him and that girl because I was rushing. I had somewhere to go. So I'm about to tell you guys now. Also, if my voice sounds off, um, uh, I don't know. I just lose my voice and shit like that at times. I'm not sick. I just lose my voice at times. So uh, let me go ahead and get started. He claimed that that girl was his best friend, right? He said that that's his best friend. But when I was on his Twitter one time, this was after the whole fight. There was like some a post where somebody had posted something. It was like a sex post. Y'all know Twitter, they always posted sex scenes and shit like that. So it was like a boy and a girl, they were having sex. And it was, I, I, I can't really remember like how, like what was going on, but they were having sex. And his bitch has quoted it. And he said, I wish I could do this, but with a best friend. So, that motherfucker was definitely fucking on that girl. He tried to say that that was his best friend and he would never touch his best friend. Then why would you go tweet that? Like, him and her, they just were not slick at all. And she was dumb. And I could tell that they were doing stuff because when um when I told her that, like, I was messing with him the week before, she kind of gave him, like, a look, like, lack of irritation. But she tried to hide it because I was there. Bitch, I can see your eyes. The fuck, bitch, I ain't blind. But that's all I have to say about that. The girl basically says, don't come, don't ever come here again. And the girl says, don't ever come here again. I was like, first of all, nobody wanted to come here. Like, the bitch was making it seem like we chose that spot. And we were like, yay! Like, we all live in this apartment complex, bro. We want to be at our house. But this nigga has forced us to be here. So don't talk about some don't ever come here again. Like, who are you? I'm trying to explain like why we came and stuff and my friend got mad when she said don't ever come here again My friend was like, who are you talking to? My friend was like act like act like you don't want to get slapped That's what my friend told her. She was like act like you don't want to get slapped So the girl rolled her eyes and she slammed the door like and it was so funny because y'all I wasn't even worried about the girl like I wasn't even worried about the girl at all I wasn't even paying her no mind. I was just mad at what he did I've never seen her angry on that type of level. So it was very funny to watch. She slammed the front door of that door that the girl slammed. Like with her fist. Like it was a hard ass. Boom. Like that hole was hard. And she said, bitch don't play with me. At this point the girl opens the door. And my friend is in her face and she's like, slam the door again. And you're gonna get your ass whopped. She said, don't fucking slam that door. At this point I'm like, okay look. We need to get out of here. I don't want these motherfuckers to call the police on me. And I don't want the police to be like, you know, trying to differentiate. Uh, is that, a, did I say the word correctly? I don't want the police to try to like, dip, like, you know, figure out who was right and who was wrong. And, you know, like, no, I, I don't want to be caught up in this entanglement. So let me just, you know, we need to go. So at this point, I'm telling my friend, let's go, let's go. It's over. Like he did what he did. Let's go, you know? But at this point, I'm angry. I'm like, oh my God, like, you know, like. This has just been the worst day ever. You know what I mean? Like, I'm sad as hell. Um, I'm just looking like, bro, this has been one of the worst days ever. You know? Time I'm like, bro, I should have went home. Like, I should have stayed home. I should have never went back to school. Sorry if I'm, like, looking away, y'all. I'm trying to pick stuff up. But I'm just like, bro, like, I should have never went back to school. Like, I should have stayed home, you know? You ladies know. Soul ties are real. Be careful who you sleep with and be careful who you not even sleep with. Be careful who you deal with. Be careful who you allow your energy to be around because these guys, not even just guys, but friends too, they will really like, they will really fuck your energy up. They will fuck your aura up. You ever like start dating a guy or start having or start being friends with someone and y'all start having the same lingo. Y'all start talking the same. Y'all start doing the same things. And then, like, a lot of the things that, like, they're doing that's, like, bad habits, you take it. And, like, people around you are like, you sound like such and such. And you're like, no, I don't. And you don't even understand that, like, when you hang out with someone, you start sounding and acting like them. You start doing the things that they would normally do that you wouldn't do. And, honestly, y'all, those, like, soul ties and, and negative energy and negative aura, all that shit is real. You know what I mean? So, um, for 2021, because it wasn't just that guy that, like broke my heart or did something dirty i literally i'm not gonna give you guys a number of the niggas that i've dealt with last year but it's a big number and um basically like i basically me being a me trying to be a hot girl backfired like me trying to be a hot girl like backfired easily on my ass and i ended up with a broken heart i ended up with a lot of sleepless nights crying in 2021 and i ended up with depression like i had um bad depression um 
I was just very depressed. And I was another reason why I was depressed, apart from guys, is because I was supposed to lose weight last year and I didn't lose no weight. Well, I lost weight, but I gained damn near all my weight back. So that was another thing that made me depressed. So I was dealing with like basically weight issues and dealing with guys at the same time. So I was just, I was, bitch, I was beat to say the least. I was beat. I was done. I was beat to say the least. Um, and 2020 really tore me apart and 2020 really like taught me a lot about myself. Last year, my self-confidence really dropped. Um, I allowed a lot of bullshit from men. And you know the funny thing, like I, I, I'm, I'm not going to sit up here and say I didn't have no issues in my friend, in my friendships, but it wasn't nothing big. But the issues that I had was mostly with guys. I'm about to, um, do my hair and I'm about to put on, like, finish, put on the rest of my products and come back because I am late. So I don't just want to be here rambling and I'm not ready. So that is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me just um finish off what I'm about to say. Basically, y'all, I'm taking this year to basically just be to myself, find out more about myself be by myself if you guys went through some of the stuff that i said i went through last year then maybe you need to take time to figure out what you like what you don't like in a relationship you guys want to you know like basically like protect your feelings protect your heart you guys have to think wisely and this year i'm gonna be thinking wisely if you guys like this chit chat get ready with me talking about my boy problems let me know i will drop another video i have so many stories on niggas niggas i I have so many stories on niggas because niggas are always doing me dirty. Also, if you guys like this look, <laughs> let me know down below. I don't really I don't know if I really like the look, but um it's not a bad look. I just I don't I don't know. Be sure to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And if you are new to the channel, what's Oh, my teeth so white, but they ain't white like that in person. It's the ring light. <laughs> I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.